I was cat calling the other day, uh, and I was like, here, kitty, kitty, uh, and psst, psst, meow, you know, and it never works. And that, I was like, hey, get that ass over here, you know. <laughs> uh, cool. You know, no, I, I, last summer I moved here from Virginia, before I moved, they passed the porn ban law. That, and they just passed it here in Texas. This law keeps following me around. I don't know what I did. I don't know who to blame. I, I think it's my parents. I think I'm 18 and older, damn man, you know? So I have my own law. It's called Let Martin Watch Porn. Okay, cool. Uh, my, my sister has kids, and they have a lot of that energy. I learned that energy comes from food. So what I babysit, I starve them. Uh, so. All right, cool. <laughs> Martin Phillips, a minute, seven seconds to start the show. Uh, there's a porn band following you around. Yeah, uh, yeah, be careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. You must jerk off crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only if I use this hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, the old lasso. Look at him go. <laughs> Is your dick also bent every wacky direction? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'd imagine your dick is shaped like the letter S. Uh, I knew, I didn't. <laughs> That's the sound. That's what I picture you jerking off sounding like. What else? What have you been doing for fun in beautiful Austin, Texas? Oh, Not uh, taking the stairs. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I actually, I don't, uh, surprisingly, I don't like elevators. Because I don't like, I have a fear of getting stuck, so. But. Wow. Your calves are cut, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Anyway. Abs but. Anyway, okay, you're okay, segueing right. us out of our own questions. Very good. <laughs> Moving things along here. Would you like to ask us some questions, perhaps? <laughs> I, I guess you don't take the stairs either. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. The squiggly versus the jiggly. It's a battle of the titans we have here tonight. Absolutely incredible. Martin Phillips. You have a Taylor Swift shirt on. Have you, have you seen her live? Uh, 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 no, I can't even the shirt because uh. I didn't have... Nine hundred dollars thing around, you know. Right. I was at the last concert. Like, I was at. I saw Taylor Swift before it cost thousands of dollars. So wow. I'm an OG. I was there. You're a Swifty. You uh, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're uh, a shifty Swifty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now, Ari, in your home country of Estonia, he would have been euthanized at birth. They would have left him on a rock and let the crows Holy eat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, they would have stoned him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Dude, how come you have so many wrist accessories? Dude, they, they, they put these on me to... Uh, Stay, not get kicked out of here. Here? Oh. Yeah. The door guys here? Yeah. Oh, they have no yeah. respect whatsoever, yeah, these I fucking thought, door guys. I thought it was a lot, too. So. Yeah. No, it is. It's a lot. That's a hazard for you. That could get yeah. caught on things. Yeah. 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 Well, it would break yeah. easily, probably. Absolutely. Your for someone with erratic arms, that is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Only this one's erratic. This one. Oh, yeah, that one's gotta, normal for gotta, sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> now, uh, let's talk to your liver. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> this is not alcoholic. Well, uh, the damage's been done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my name is Phoenix Provocateur. Phoenix Provocateur, welcome to the show. Hello. You know, I always say what I love about this bucket and this show is that we get all different types of people, all different shapes and sizes of human beings, and you are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, where should we even begin? Dude, America is crazy. <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? 
I started last October. Okay. What made you want to start stand up last October? Um, I've been an entertainer for a while, and I've always watched comedy kind of for afar. And I was like, why don't I just throw my foot or my stilettos in the hat and see what right. happens? Yeah. Well, your foot couldn't fit in the hat, so oh. that's perfect. <laughs> um, what kind of? <laughs> 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 I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm short circuited. <laughs> you tried to be a Cowboys cheerleader, is that true? I didn't try, but I was kind of like trained and I danced with a lot of the girls that are on the team and even some of the hip hop team that they have. Right. But I just I was like, fuck it, I don't want to do that. I love it. And might not have been able to be battle. a cheerleader. You should try it out for tight end. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be good for the league. <laughs> My guess is that yeah. end isn't so tight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make a living now? Uh, <laughs> Go on, girl. Basically, just through, <laughs> just through drag. My boyfriend works, so I don't really... What does your boyfriend yeah. do? Uh, he's a crane operator. He's a crane yeah. operator. He needs it to move that thing around. <laughs> 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 beep, 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 beep. There it is. There it is. Oh. She would have been euthanized in your home country. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Where do you want to go to the restroom at? Where do you want to take a On hug? my chest? <laughs> <laughs> Give me an example of something that's happened to you. Because I always hear this restroom debate, like uh, in a locker room or a restroom, what's like the worst thing that's happened to you when you say you could be the victim? I'm curious to know like what, what's happened. Um, this is probably a couple years ago. I haven't really had an issue since. Uh -huh. But uh, I was in college out in Nacogdoches, East Texas. Nacogdoches? Jack my axe, yeah. Oh my God, that sounds like a dangerous place for someone like you. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I was selling tickets for a fucking competition or whatever, and this dad came in. What kind of competition? A dance competition. Okay. It was like, uh, I think it was like high schoolers and middle school dance thing. We right. were just hosting it. No, no, every, no, what dad could possibly have a problem with you selling tickets to <laughs> middle schoolers for an event? I wasn't selling tickets. Okay, it's like all right, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't get mad at me now. I'm not, you were not Nacogdoches oh anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's easier to get the kids in if they don't have to use money. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think they were like pamphlets as people were coming in to say the schedule of Perfect. the day. What kind of dad would have a problem with you handing out middle schoolers pamphlets? Uh, no, this is great. I know I would love it if a seven foot tall dragon lady was handing my kids pamphlets or something. Yeah. He basically threw a fit in front of my coach and everybody was like, I don't want that thing going to the bathroom. And I was like, I'm standing at the front door outside in 72 heat or degree right. weather in fucking Nacogdoches, Texas. Right. I don't want your little snot nose brat. I fucking hate kids. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think that you should be able to go to the bathroom in the ladies' room. That way Thank your dick doesn't get in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> or so you don't try to suck it. Whoa! Sam! Sam is getting lit up! Sam is getting lit up tonight. <laughs> I've, I've done a drag show in a church before. You did? I have. Oh wow. God. In Midland, Texas. Wow. Church of Satan? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. He's really trying, Phoenix. I, oh, I know. Trying my I know. best. I'm I know. a shit-talking Texan. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to use any bad words with you. I'm more Texan than you are. You, you, you're in my territory, sweetie. Well, looks oh, like we're about shit. to have a big dick competition. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> She's going to lasso you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do the tits make it easier to go to war with Alien? <laughs> Adrian Escamilla, everybody. I used to uh, worship the devil, like uh, worship the devil. Then she moved out and took the kids. Adrian, what else in life? What are some hobbies? What else are you doing? What's distracting you from getting better at stand-up comedy? 
Ouch. <laughs> we usually when I get on stage, I don't talk at all. This is like the first time in a long time I've told jokes. What do you do when you get on stage? I would love to show you, but they won't let me bring up my uh, deal here. Your what? A what? I usually use like a, a prop or something that like, it's like a performance deal, but like they won't what, let me use it. What is it? A performance deal? Describe it better than that. It's like a, it's a scooper and like it, use it to make things sing. A Mix, scooper. I'm, I use it to uh, like play the music. It's pretty cool, I think. A lot you of people use like it. A scooper to play music. Uh, <laughs> they play music and I use it. All right. How about you use your hand? Mm, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Why can't you do that? You're I, so stuck to the scooper art. Bring it out here. Let someone bring it out here. Where is it? It's by the entrance. Okay. Somebody grab his fucking scooper. <laughs> Jesus Christ Almighty. Oh my God. Is that it? One, two, a one, two, three, four. Anyone gonna sing? What? I need someone to sing. Okay, Sam? This was easier than writing a joke. I do this instead of actually trying a comedy. This is the thing that keeps me from killing myself. <laughs> you, after 10 or 11 years of comedy experience, you have uh, decided that a scooper, which, by the way, I agree with my entire team, is a safety hazard. Uh, that's not how you use that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you usually use it to clean up shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> you, you know, Ari, I don't know if you know this, but after seeing his prop act, I must say that if he was born in Estonia, he would have been euthanized. <laughs> Yeah. By the Arts Council. <laughs> that really is unbelievable. That was nuts. I don't want to critique you too hard because Dude. I'm pretty sure this is how Hitler was made. Um, the vaccine fucked this country <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. That's that booster, dude. That is true. It is true. Bobby Brown Jr. right out of the bucket. Yeah, I really wanted to be an actor when I was a kid. I used to beg my mom. I was like, Mom, please, let me audition for Nickelodeon. Please, Mom. Yeah, little did I know. I was begging to get fucked. That's weird. That's... <laughs> did y'all see the Nickelodeon documentaries? It's kind of crazy, man. They had all kind of weird requirements. Dan Schneider said, apparently, if you want to be on Nick at night, you got to start taking dick at night. Was... <laughs> yeah, when they said get slime, nigga, they meant get slime. That was... <laughs> Netflix offered those people three million dollars to tell the stories about what happened to them, you know. And uh, when the documentary came out, my mom made me watch it with her, right? And she was like, "Look, Bobby, look what I saved you from." I had to remind her, "Mom, these people just made three million dollars. <laughs> you didn't save me, Ma. You cock blocked me. That's what happened." <laughs> Thank you guys so much. All right, Bobby Brown Jr. I think you look great without the makeup, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> How are you paying your rent? Uh, I, I work at the airport now. I, I, just, I push people, old people and disabled people, I push them in wheelchairs Ooh, to their Ooh, you're a wheelchair pusher. Yeah. Oh, there's someone oh, that thinks okay, that's like a good it. job over there. Wow, hey. there's a real stupid bitch over there. Look at her. <laughs> Whoa. Absolutely incredible. She thinks you're doing a good deed. She's probably a nice lady. <laughs> okay. All Who right. are the worst tippers? Uh... Like like what race? What do you? I don't know. What. Sure, let's start there, and then we'll go. Yeah, from read there. the room, dummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you read that? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's not because he's black, by the way. It's because he's stupid. No, I'm kidding. I recently was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and uh, I went to a tractor pool. Oh, you've heard of this. A tractor pool is like a, a clan rally with a theme. It was a. Uh... <laughs> At one point, they started booing. They started booing one of the racers, and it was just me and three other black people walking through a sea of whites, just hearing boo. <laughs> and one white guy went, Don't worry, we're not booing you. 
that's the next chant, right? And at the tractor pool, they had the Amish there. I've never seen the Amish in my life. I'm from Florida, dog. So I saw them, I was like, oh shit, it's the Amish. And they were like, oh fuck, it's a nigga. And <laughs> that's my time. God damn it. Cam, we booked you to do that festival I'm running in Arkansas in yes. October. Diamond City Comedy Festival. And we received your writer today. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I just want to read <laughs> what's on this writer. Oh, please. If anyone yes. had any doubts that Cam's the blackest man alive. <laughs> So an adequate amount of bottled water, or that's normal. I need to hydrate. An assortment of gums and mints, Ooh. you know, for your perfect smile. Yeah. Beef jerky. Oh. Or as you guys call it in Estonia, beef, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is where it gets a bit specific. Homemade Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're joking. No, bro. Uh, no way. Oh, my it's God. True. It's true. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my God. So you always drink the Kool-Aid everywhere you go. Yeah, I taste it. What I the fuck it. is Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? So Drew. Uh, <laughs> He's the new regular. Yeah, one of the, one of the new great. rotating regulars. That's awesome, yeah. man. All yeah. it took was a guy with a head injury to replace Hans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, Drew, uh, are there really a lot of girls in your DMs? Hell no, Tony. <laughs> I swear, there's four girls in my DMs and seven energy drink companies, dog. That is amazing. The ratio is a crazy. Yep. Four girls, Drew. You're doing great, dog. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got nothing. <laughs> really? What? Nada. Wow. Purple bacon, nothing. <laughs> Incredible. I like your haircut, Ari. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> this is, this We're is, friends. <laughs> it's so good to be hanging out at recess with you two right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ari, I don't know if you know this, but in your country, he would have been euthanized. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Nobody's made it so far. Yeah. I think he... He survived the euthanasia. <laughs> and, and we didn't say it about Cam and Bobby Brown Jr., but I promise you they would have been euthanized as well. Oh, it, it's because I'm black, right? <laughs> You're correct, Drew. Very good. Damn. Chloe LaBranch. I hope you guys don't mind if I start with a, a light joke. Uh, okay, cool. I, um, I went home with this guy the other night, and he started raping me. <laughs> But then I looked up and I saw he had a Yale diploma hanging over his bed, and I was like, nah, he's fucking me. <laughs> I was, uh, thank you so much. I, uh, I, uh, I was thinking about the, um, the women who were fucking the hijackers in 9 11. <laughs> I feel like women always give men the benefit of the doubt, you know? They're probably like, ah, oh, they're on a boys' trip. <laughs> I, I, we know who did it. Relax. <laughs> uh, as a woman, I'm really sick of pedophiles. I'm sick of these men fucking these kids because it's like these kids, you know? They're stealing our jobs. Chloe LaBranch. How long you been doing stand-up? Uh, like 11 years when oh. I'm not in rehab. I love it. <laughs> 11 years. And what were you in rehab for? Uh, you know, I'm an alcoholic, but like, I'm not a loser. I'll do pills, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> if you have them, I'll take them. Same? I love it. No, what kind of pills excited. were we doing? What do you have, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I just have testosterone and Cialis, so uh -huh. no. That'll probably get me on JFL, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> JFL's not a thing anymore. Uh, we're bringing it back when I go trans. I, uh, <laughs> that's how you get new faces. <laughs> Being disabled, I often run into people who try to recruit Jesus to fix me. I was in a taxi one time, and he pulled over to tell me that he once cured an ear infection by praying. He says he can cure me since cerebral palsy and ear infections 
are exactly the same. I don't have a lot of options, so I'm like, okay, let's see what you got, big boy. Didn't work? I tried to pray his body odor away. That didn't work either. This poor broken man was so sad. I actually needed to apologize to him for still being disabled. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You'll get it next time. I still have faith in you. It's not you. It's me. Next time a religious person tries to pray to heal me, I'm going to start curling up the other arm and say you made it worse. Ari, why are you laughing like that? The wheels are turning over here. I hear another euthanasia joke. <laughs> you beat us to it on that one. Uh, I feel like this guy's into youth in Asia. <laughs> it's crazy that you can figure good, this yeah. out and that fucking scooper guy couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> It turns out he just has to have the scooper permanently attached to his arm the entire time. Tomorrow I'm getting stem cells, so that should be interesting. Oh. I told him I only want them from the neck down. If they make me talk, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> stem cells coming down. We don't know what can happen. You got nothing to lose, that's for sure. <laughs> it told me up from here. <laughs> yeah. I could ruin my career. Absolutely amazing. If you have a voice, that it will be incredible. Absolutely impossible, I'm guessing, right? What would be the first word you would say if you could speak? Oh, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Autocorrect's about to take this from us. It starts with N. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> John Dees. I can't believe Tony said he doesn't know how to identify as a woman. That's like me saying I don't know how to fall down a flight of stairs. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Jacob Marshall, everybody. My mom actually recently started like a country music career, so I've been like reluctantly supporting that. Your mom recently started? Yeah. <laughs> Did your dude. dad just die? Oh, they're di long divorced. Um, no, dude, like I've, she's 54. She sold her house in Dallas, moved like out to the country, adopted like eight cats, and then was like, I'm going to Nashville to record a country music album. Oh, so she lost her fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. Dude, she's like a meth head boyfriend away from being Joe Exotic. It's incredible. <laughs> Have you heard this album? What's it called? Where can we find it? What's it she's called? She's released her first three songs. Where, um, where at? On it's what? on Spotify. Apple What's Music. it called? Her name is Dali, which is spelled D apostrophe L E E. Oh no! Holy shit! Holy shit! That's oh, like a name from your is. home country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, mom. yeah she mom. is hot. Wow, Whoa. let's listen to Oh, yo, yo, yo. We are the 1,635th listen on Spotify. 1,635. Can you get your mom on the show yeah, sometime? I hate that, that that went so much better than my set. That's all, dude. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> she a squirter? Did, did, your, did your friends like... Oh, my God. <laughs> Red band. Do you talk to her often? Uh, <laughs> like once a month. Okay, yeah. once a month. Yeah. Still have heard a talk with her mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What do we got there? Oh, my God. Oh, Red oh Man just God. followed her on Instagram. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Your mom now has 62 followers. <laughs> and one of them is Someone's Red Band. Someone's going to fuck your mom, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh, my God. This is the worst oh, thing she that could have happened already? to you. <laughs> Bro. I'm she sure immediately the accepted be... the follow request. She is live. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Red oh, Man is DMing yes, your mother right yes. now. Message. Yo, what's up, boo? 
Hit send on it. Let's see if she responds. Please tell me this is going to get seen in real time. Oh this my could be one God. of the greatest moments in the show's history. Go to <laughs> D-L-E-E dot official. No, it's official. That's the official <laughs> account in case there's another account that has more than oh, 62 followers. Oh, see the pictures, more pictures. Oh, man. I'm so glad my oh. mom is dead. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's dead, too. Thank God, dude. Oh, she's oh. vibing. There's some videos, dude. Oh, wow. Oh. She's live on this one. Oh. oh. Why did the divorce happen? <laughs> oh, when? man. There's, there's, there's a video of this. Why? Nobody is paying attention to her at all. This is incredible. Oh. Do not look at my mom on OnlyFans, Red Band. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it's a different. It's okay. Hold on. It's okay. False alarm. It's a different D Lee. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. There's a different D Lee on say, only. I fans. don't know about this. Like I can't. Well, I mean, I was wondering how she funded the album, but <laughs> <laughs> she's kissing more than frogs. It turns out. Oh. Wow. Oh, no. That's okay. Red band. That's a different. <laughs> Red band just come on. Watching get porn. out of here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Red band just, just went down someone else, some other D Lee's rabbit hole on fucking. Good enough for me. <laughs> just blowing up pictures and zooming in on tits. You fucking pig. Tom feedback, everybody. It's good to be here. I uh, I grew up playing football, and uh, football coaches never have anything nice to say. You know, like my coach always be like, "You suck. You're a pussy." Your mom's a whore. Yeah, and that would always hurt my feelings because my dad was the coach. And uh, we weren't even in a game. I'm like, Dad, I'm nine and it's Christmas, you know, so let me. I don't know. My dad was tough on me growing up. I feel like dads aren't tough anymore. Dads now are complete pussies. So I was at the store the other day. I saw this dad with this kid and the kid was being bad. And the dad just said all the time, he's like, Carson, 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 one, two, one. I was like, dude, you fucking suck, dude, you. My dad would never have to say my name that many times growing up. My dad would be like, hey, the fuck, and that was it. That's all I got. <laughs> Dads have to be scared. I'm not saying, like, hit your kids or anything, but they should be a little intimidated, you know? Because, like, the scariest thing that my mom could tell me growing up is, I'm going to tell your dad. Yeah, you tell a kid in 2024 you're going to tell his dad, he'd be like, who, Bill? <laughs> How about this? Fuck Bill. How about that? <laughs> all right, I guess. Thank you. Tom, feedback. Just out of curiosity, what made you move to Austin, Texas? For comedy, man. I was doing comedy in Chicago, and, uh, you know, I was doing a lot there, so I was like, I want to expand a little bit. Come and you could have gone anywhere. You could have gone to New York. You could have gone to L.A., and you picked Austin. Yes. Yeah, 100%, dude. Yep. Smart move. Just want to make sure people listening yeah. from New York and L.A. hear that. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm doing Uber Eats. Uber Eats? Yeah. Okay. It's a terrible job. Okay. Yeah. That's the great job. No, you don't have any creeps in your car. Uber Eats is easy, bro. No, you're thinking of Uber Alice. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had a different job. You know that if you lived in Estonia, you would be euthanizing people. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks European. He looks good. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. 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 He's got yeah. dominant features, blue eyes. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. German yeah. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, was that an Estonian gang sign you just threw up right there? Just, hello. Hello. This is the biggest thing to ever happen to Estonia, dude. You on this show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Our famous claim to fame in Chino Man, where Paulie Shore <laughs> in made Chino. the joke that the caveman is from Estonia. Dude, national news in Estonia. Dude. Wow. 1996, four years into our country, Hollywood are coming. Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Os Oscar boy. winning Brendan Fraser. That is your boy. Okay. What's the craziest thing that's happened in your Uber Eats career? Craziest thing that's ever happened. Uh, one time I went to take a delivery and uh, the guy told me to come in the house. Ooh. And uh, yeah, he was completely naked. Oh. Sores all over his body. He just oh. had pill bottles everywhere and piss jugs everywhere. Oh. Sam! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> he didn't have to come in the house, but, you know, yeah. he came on the porch instead. <laughs> Why did he invite you in? Did he want you to put the bag somewhere? Yeah, he wanted me to put the bag on his bed. He, well, he was like 700 pounds, so he couldn't get up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was, what was the vibe. The vibe? It was a good vibe. I liked it. It was, <laughs> a good vibe. 
<laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Debate was so crazy that at one point they argued about golf, which is kind of insane because one of the only times Biden told the truth was when he said he was a six handicap, and he is stage six dementia. <laughs> <laughs> In a poll taken after the debate, 72% said Biden is suffering from some sort of cognitive impairment, and the other 28% said, man, I thought that old ass man was dead. <laughs> a man recently threw a big gulp on Chicago's district attorney, Kim Fox. Wait, Red Band, isn't that your mom's porn name? <laughs> Fucking slut. Hawked. Talk to, uh, more like Cardinal Sin. Okay, that's my turn. 59 seconds on the dot. You're so sick of it. You're so sick of your mom getting called a slut every week. Well, it's probably because she's legitimately sick right now is why he's... Oh, how do you know that? We talk. I mean, that's not a joke. I mean, we talk. Yeah, she's not doing good right now. Do you want to plug your mom's Instagram page? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love you. Good night, everybody. Thank you.